All right, guys. Well, I was hoping to arrive at the EA charging station with 10% uh, battery life remaining, but uh, we actually got here in a little bit better shape with 12%. Um, so my plan is to do a 12% to 80% uh, charge video. Uh, probably call it 10% to 80% just because the reality of it is, is that Delta... Uh, you know, the, the, the amount that you charge quicker from 12% to 80% versus 10% to 80% is honestly going to be negligent, probably somewhere between two to three minute difference, if that. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get charging and then I'll basically just get the time that uh, it hit 80% if I can, or at least, you know, I'll go up to the charger at 80% or right before 80% so we can determine exactly what uh, amount of time it ends up taking. So, yeah. All right, so I started charging at uh, 6.20 p.m. PST. Um, that's pretty much exactly when the charge initiated. These are 350 kilowatt uh, EA charging stations, as you can see. Um, quite a few other cars here. I don't want to film them just because a lot of, pretty much everybody's inside their cars right now, but there's a Kia EV6 right in front of me. There's a Mustang Mach-E to the right of me. And then there's an ID4 to the right of that Mustang. Um, so a lot of different charging variety here. Anyways, um, since I haven't been able to charge at home, I've been having to use these DC fast chargers, which are right at a Kroger's essentially. And um, this is my third time doing it already. Usually I wouldn't DC fast charge as much. I wouldn't rely on DC fast charging. That's not my plan. I've got a 200 amp main panel. We'll get a charger installed as soon as I can. All right, guys. So the charge initiated pretty much exactly at 620. Um, like as soon as it, it's, it started charging, it hit 620. We are now at 625 and we've gone from 12% to 24%. So we've gained 25% uh, now and it's still 625. So we've gained 13%. Uh, Sorry, it's so blurry. It doesn't seem to want to focus. We'll just look at the Nissan <laughs> logo, but it's gained 13% uh, charge in uh, a ba basically five minutes. I'm guessing that we're going to hit 80% pretty much exactly at the 30 minute mark, assuming this charger doesn't have any issues. Uh, it is now 629 and we are at 34%. Uh, so we're trekking right along. We're nine minutes in already. Um, what is that? 22% up. And I'm not sure why it keeps giving these. I guess I got to dismiss it. Dismiss. Oh, another cool thing I wanted to highlight is uh, this charging uh, location is really unique. So there's a bunch of Tesla superchargers. I want to say eight or 10 of them. I haven't counted them um, over he over there. And then literally right here are eight EA stations. So um Kind of a unique spot literally so much charging um i don't know if these have uh, magic docks either i don't think they do they might though it kind of looks like they might i don't i don't i'm not a pro at identifying a tesla charging station so maybe you'd know if you're watching this video but um yeah a bunch of teslas can charge over there and then they installed these i mean those have been here for a while so probably don't have magic dock unless they retrofitted some of them um but these are maybe six months old uh, but yeah lots of ev charging and it's kind of perfect because it's right at a kroger's um last uh last saturday i pulled up plugged in went shopping and when i came out the car was charged to 99 percent. and i know you're not supposed to frequently fully charge this car but for that uh, time and because i haven't been, been able to charge at home it made uh, perfect sense to do it that day and I've honestly decided that I'm not going to worry too much about whether I charge my car to 100% or whether I fast charge it a lot. Um, there's been some recent studies that show that uh, it doesn't have as big of an impact on newer EVs that, uh, or at least a bigger impact on EVs in general that um, people thought it did. And... Um, I just, you know, I'm going to use the car the way that it's designed to be used. Nissan already has a low charging speed comparatively to other manufacturers um, <clears throat> at 130 kilowatts. And I'm guessing that helps with degradation. It's got battery cooling and battery heating and all this stuff you need to keep the battery in good conditions. Um, it 
you know, it charges at 7.2 kilowatts at home, which is probably a pretty healthy charging rate to keep the battery healthy. So I think degradation will be minimal, minimal on this car. And I've heard that you can go into the settings on this car and actually see what the battery health is like, but I'm not going to stress about it too much. I mean, chances are by the time this car has 200,000 miles on it, the battery, battery will still be somewhere around 90%. Uh, maybe slightly above, slightly below battery health. All right, so the EV6 is now pulling away. It looks like they might have charged to 100%. Theoretically, that car should charge zero to, um, sorry, 10 to 80% in 20 minutes. And that seems about right. I mean, they were here before I pulled up. We're now 15 minutes in. I don't know if I actually stole or lowered their charging rate because I don't know if these two chargers are shared. That's where they were plugged in. Um, wouldn't affect me, granted I didn't want to be rude to anybody, but wouldn't affect my charging rate because if it split 350 kilowatts in half, um, I have 130, well, what, what would that be? They, 350 minus 100, well actually, it might almost be perfect. If it split it to where they, they're getting 220 maximum and I'm getting 130 maximum, it probably wouldn't have slowed them down. All right, so we're now 20 minutes into the charging session. We're at 62%, so we've gained 40% charge. If we're gonna hit the 30 minute mark, uh, that'll be at 650, which means we should hopefully be at 80% in another 10 minutes. We'll see. Again, it really depends on if the charger is hitting its, its peak charging speed. I haven't had any issues at this one. It always seems to be at its peak. Uh, I did also wanna note that I am running my AC um, at, what am I running it at, 70, degree, 70 degrees. It's 86 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside, so it should be pretty ideal charging conditions. I obviously, obviously, it's not cold, so I didn't precondition the battery or anything. The battery should be nice and warm. I just drove 33 miles back from work to this charging station, so it should be pretty much at the perfect temperature to get the perfect charging speed. But I think we're, I think we're going to hit it. I think we're going to hit 80%. We've got 15% more to go in nine minutes. All right, guys, we're right on the cusp of it. So three minutes away from my estimation and we're at 75%. So if we get another 5% in three minutes, we'll be right at 30 minutes total charging time. We're at 79%, so let's go check and see where we landed 80%. We're also a minute away. Just as I had predicted, uh, 30 minutes into charging, we hit 80%, which would align with 10% to uh, 80%, taking 32 minutes. People say this is a slow charging car. I mean, I pulled up here at 12%, um, so we've almost got 70% charge. Um, oh, and there goes the, the ID4. So <laughs> uh, anyways, <clears throat> um, pulled up here at 12% charge, uh, basically, we're now at 31 minutes in, up 70% charge, up from approximately 35 miles of estimated range to 265, so it takes 30 minutes to get 230 miles of range uh, back on an electric car that is not one of the fastest charging that gets bashed for being slower charging. But yeah, guys, if I was in a Bolt, <laughs> this would be, this would take an hour and a half. Uh, at least an hour and 15 minutes or so. But I hope this video is informative to people and uh, that, uh, that it uh, puts aside any fears you might have about this car being a slow charging car. Again, this is a 2023 Nissan Aria Venture Plus. Every single trim of the Aria charges at the same rate. This is a 350 kilowatt charger, but the Aria charges at a maximum of 130 kilowatts. So even if they were 150 chargers, um, get the same, same result was uh, 33 minutes to 85% from that 12%. Uh, total cost was $36, uh, 56 cents per kilowatt hour, so we can do the math just to, to get, um, get an idea of what that actually kind of represents.